and today I'll be replacing the fan in this Thermaltake 600 watt TR2 power supply. And so right now I have it strapped to a test bench with a Ryzen 5 5600 CPU, a Gigabyte Wind Force 2X RTX 270. We're just simply running the Heaven benchmark. We're seeing some pretty good thermals, but I'm also seeing an amped up noise with this power supply fan, and it's not overly obnoxious, but if I can, I'd like to cut down on the noise by installing this Noctua fan in place of the stock fan inside the power supply. And we'll be doing this with the aid of this mini two pin female fan adapter cable. I'll put the microphone up to the fan to try to demonstrate the type of noise that it is making. So I don't know how well that will translate to video, but uh, we'll see while I'm editing. So before we start, I should note that there's some rather large capacitors in the power supply that hold electricity. Uh, you should do this with caution and maybe even letting the power supply sit for a couple days. But if you're careful, you should be okay. So what we'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver. And for this particular power supply, we have one, two, three, and four screws to remove. So here we have some rather beefy looking capacitors and some other ones tucked beneath the cables and more further connected to the power supply PCB. So again, proceed with caution and pay attention to what you're doing and you should be okay. So we'll want to remove this little two pin fan connector. And now we can go about removing the fan just by taking that same Phillips head screwdriver and removing the screws here, 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 and here. And here we can remove this little plastic dust shield and put it onto the Noctua fan. The fan cable is fairly long connected to the Noctua fan, so we'll just Wrap it up like this and zip tie it together so it's not flopping around inside the PSU case. Now we're ready to attach the adapter. That will allow us to plug in this 3-pin fan connector to the 2-pin connector on the power supply board. Let's get this fan installed onto this shroud. Now take a look at how sharp that looks. And we're hooked back up to the test bench. I thought I'd document the first power on just to demonstrate that yes, this cable adapter does work. The Heaven benchmark has run its course and we're getting much better noise performance with that Noctua fan installed. I don't know how well this will represent until I review the footage, but I'll hold the microphone back up to the power supply. Hopefully that demonstrates the noticeable difference that I hear just standing beside the unit. One other thing to note is that if you do hear a bit of a hum, that is the Thermalrite CPU cooler. I'll probably adjust that maybe in the BIOS settings to see what kind of RPM we're running at. But the main verdict is that replacing the power supply fan was a total success. I'm going to continue to test and benchmark the system. And of course, I won't publish this video if something happens to fail. So... If you're seeing it on YouTube, then it means it was a success and hopefully this helps you out if you're looking to replace your power supply fan if it's noisy or broken or whatever. So again, proceed with caution. Good luck. Have a great day.